2021 saw an exciting year for Vodafone UK's network, with numerous significant projects that lay the foundations for 2022. The biggest project in terms of geography affected was the UK-wide reaching of their 900 megahertz spectrum in order to better support the deployment of modern technologies like 4G and 5G on the band. Prior to the reaching, Vodafone's uplink and downlink 12.4 MHz blocks in the 900 MHz band would typically have 3G at the base, with the remainder of the, of the block spectrum being used for 2G. With the retune though, the 2G was moved to a small sliver at the base of those 12.4 MHz blocks, with the remainder being free for more modern use. Increasingly, this comes in the form of operating the spectrum as 4G, improving low band 4G capacity and performance in the process. Of course, the opportunity does exist to operate the spectrum as DSS, LC plus NR, or even NR only in the future. Unfortunately, where I am at the moment, the spectrum isn't being used in quite such an exciting way. Instead, just part of it is being used to provide additional 3G capacity alongside the primary 3G spectrum. In 2021, Vodafone UK also took major steps into new territory from a vendor point of view, exploring options beyond the conventional trio of Huawei, Ericsson and Nokia. Most excitingly for me, this included a Comscope one cell in-building solution deployment at the hospital I worked at for part of 2021, the Royal Victoria Hospital in Belfast. Comscope's one cell is a modular radio system deployable on standard structured Ethernet cabling that can support multiple operators and multiple spectrum bands. In the case of the Royal Victoria, at the time I was working there it went live with Vodafone L26 providing much improved service to areas that often previously had little to no cellular service at all. Somewhat further away in Wales, Dorico found this Vodafone Open RAN site deployed with the antenna on top of a BT telegraph pole. From a 4G point of view, this is broadcasting LT 900 megahertz with 5 megahertz bandwidth and reasonable throughput, although at the time the parameter set on this was not particularly well developed. However, this was back in August and Open RAN it's clearly very much in its infancy then and to a certain extent really still is. As we go into 2022, I'm sure we'll see a lot more development in parameter set and deployment configuration as these increase in number and also development within their timeline. For the final three items in the Vodafone UK roundup for this year, we move back to the conventional vendors again starting off with some Ericsson area matters in Trafalgar Square which is in the center of London Vodafone deployed a nice number of 2600 megahertz Ericsson small cells which densely cover that ultra busy part of central London with 2600 megahertz 4G nicely offloading the macro sector that points over that area. <laughs> in London, 256 Cram Uplink was also spotted, which improves upload performance for those in appropriate uplink conditions to take advantage of it. Moving to the Huawei zone to end then, DSS on 2100 MHz was seen by Jake in Wales. This follows the DSS deployment which extensively spread in the Ericsson zones towards the end of 2020 and was covered in that respective end of year video. Thanks for watching this 2021 Vodafone end of year roundup. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.